Great, good morning. Why don't we go ahead and get started then? Um, uh, and welcome. I'm uh, pleased to announce that we have at least a little bit of refreshment out here for the morning and the, and the afternoon. I assure you that no federal statutes were broken in the, in the making of this workshop. So uh, I thought it, it might be worth starting by, by just uh, repeating the, uh, the recommendations from the data aggregation workshop since it was mentioned several times yesterday. And so, so just in, in case you hadn't had a chance to, to take a look at, at those. Um, and, and many thanks to, to Lisa Brooks and that group for putting these together so quickly. Um, so the, the first, and we heard this again last night, was to deposit almost, it's not almost deposit, but deposit almost all of sequence exposure phenotype data sets in, into a central database, recognizing that there may be some really valuable and, and very sensitive data sets that couldn't go into a central database, but those would have to be, you know, uh, quite unusual and extraordinary. Uh, limit almost all the future sequencing phenotype data sets to participants who consent to broad use, again, something we discussed last evening. Um, public release of summary statistics should be a default um, um, approach, so uh, variant names, allele frequencies, and odds ratios should be something that is, is done unless there's a really good reason not to. Um, data access for dbGaP should be streamlined, including uh, registered users, so basically re registering a user to have broad access to a number of data sets rather than having to uh, uh, get individual access for, for each data set. Um, there should be new governance procedures for the central database, including public disclosure and participation, accountability, and, and a, a description of, of penalties and uh, um, people who have been penalized. There should be central processing of sequence data, and that should be encouraged. Analysis of aggregate data sets should also be supported and retrospective harmonization is encouraged and those efforts should be captured. Um, future projects should include harmonization as part of the application, the funding, and, and data sharing. I would note that almost all of these recommendations were covered by Peter, even though he hadn't been at the workshop, so we didn't need to have the workshop, we should have just asked you. But <laughs> at any rate, um, so that's, uh, that's it for, for those. Any questions or comments on those? Okay, right. great, Eric. 